Hey guys, what's up? Jimmy here with another Lots of Games video. So here is my PC gaming build. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to do a live video of me putting the PC together. But essentially, this PC, um, uh, the uh, case is the Corsair for a uh, 540 air case. I'll include links in the video description below so you guys can check out all the parts. Um, and this, this is a PC, it took about four or five months. Every month I would buy a couple new parts, two or three parts, um, you know, I, I cause getting all the parts at once was just too much. So I, I did it gradually. I didn't want to have to put anything on a credit card and I'm glad I was able to. It was really hard though. I, I wanted to have all the parts all at once. To be able to gradually do it was very, very challenging for me. Um, so I, I'm gonna actually kind of zoom in, show you uh, specifically everything that's included. Um, of course, I just went over the case. This is the uh, 540 Air case. Awesome case with tons of room. But uh, yeah, let me go over with you guys the different parts in this uh, computer build. I have been able to um, play games that I, uh, that I was able to play in the past, but now I can play them at a, a much uh, steadier frame rate, and bump up the um, the settings dramatically. I was, uh, the graphics card I had beforehand was a GTX 660, um, and I'll show you everything else, but beforehand also the CPU I had was an AMD, uh, like a 6100, which, um, anyway, it's, it's quite the upgrade this time around. So let's go ahead and show you what's included. Okay, so first off, let me just show you on the outside. I know this is kind of wonky. I shouldn't have it like this, but I've got here a uh, wireless receiver for Xbox or my Xbox 360 controller. And I've got a couple different hard drive, external hard drives. I've got the My Passport 3 terabyte. Um, the great thing about this is it doesn't require a power supply, and this would work with a with a PlayStation 4. So that's three terabytes. I have a couple different my passports that um, Western Digital. Uh, I've got one of them on my Xbox One. So, but this one I've got for my PC, three terabytes. One below it is a Seagate, uh, two terabyte. Notice it has have its own specific or um, power supply. This one's only two terabytes, but it's one that has a lot of my Steam games on. And so there's that, um, kind of, if you go down uh, a little bit, let me just zoom in, uh, I've got down there at the bottom, I've got the Western Digital um, six terabyte blue, and then above it, we've got the Asus um, Turbo, the GTX um, 1080. Uh, and you know what, actually I was kind of holding off because I, I, there were all these rumors of like, oh, the GTX 1080 Ti is going to be announced at CES. Now, that was never announced. Uh, so I ended up just going, I got that for a screaming deal. Um, it was on sale, uh, Newegg. For a long time, the 1080 cards were sold out. Um, then once they started getting back in stock, people were getting some deals. And so I got that one for on sale for $520, but then also they're running like a $20 mail in rebate. So to be able to get a 1080 card for 500 bucks was um, was just an incredible deal. And so over here, I've got my um, CPU cooler um, and it is resting upon this right here, which is an i7-6700 unlocked uh, four gigahertz uh, CPU. This one goes for around 340, 350. $30 on Amazon. It's a, it's a top seller in terms of CPUs for gaming PCs. There's also the Cabby Lake right now, um, but I got this before they announced the Cabby Lake. My brother-in-law, so this one on Amazon's around 330, 340. My brother-in-law got this for me half price. My brother-in-law works at Intel, and a few times during the year he can actually use his discount, and he can buy like up to like three CPUs a year, and he was kind enough to let me use his discount. So very grateful for that. Um, right next to the CPU uh, cooler, we've got two sticks of RAM. They are Ballistics uh, Sport LT. They are 16 gigabytes each, so total 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I am, the motherboard is the uh, Z170 ASUS 
Aurora motherboard. There's that one was you know I was doing a lot of research on that, and Linus Tech Tech Tips talked about a few different ones, and they talked about this one, and it seemed like a good fit because they spoke highly of it in terms of using resources wisely when it comes to the the audio and um, prioritizing the different audio and the uses with the audio and with like all the the editing that I do and recording, I, I went with it. And so far I've, I've been pretty happy with it. Again, I'll include links in all the video description for you guys. So in the back of the case, I've got a Corsair RM850X for the power supply. Um, and then if you go up here, I'm not sure if you could tell, but there's four slots right here dedicated. Um, it's hard to tell because it's kind of dark. Four slots dedicated for the SSDs. So you can have four SSD, they've got four slots for the SSDs, which is pretty awesome. I do have a crucial uh, one terabyte uh, SSD, which has the uh, uh, operating system on it. And uh, so far it's been working out pretty well. I know probably the top in terms of one of the top, if not the top selling SSD is, I believe the, uh, like the Samsung series. But I, I decided to go with the, uh, the crucial um, version. Again, I'll, I'll include links in the video description below. But anyway, guys, there is my PC gaming build. Been very happy with it. Uh, I'll let you guys know I've been able to edit and render videos. That's the huge thing. It renders videos much, much quicker than my last PC and has, has been a much more effective, efficient PC for me, which I've been really happy about. But anyway, guys, there's my PC gaming build. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.